David had the wherewithal to get a four track tape recorder. A lot of our work sort of gravitated around that machine. A number of the songs that are on, on telephone started out with those, you know, melodies that we were playing in that band. We called ourselves Sitting Duck for a while. I think I had met David at, there was a place called Garupa House, which was kind of like this punk rock house that I think. Yes. It becomes Camper Van Beethoven and the Border Patrol in 1983. When they were up in Santa Cruz, Mola was like, I know a guy that plays violin. Well, and then also there's David McDaniel. He had a calling from God. When we were growing up, our house was so small. When you changed the tire, everybody died. You know, so like take the skinheads bowling. Every line is supposed to undermine the previous lines. All the music was so loaded with meaning and, you know, importance. So like we went in the opposite direction. It was just a, it was a mishmash of everyone's enthusiasm. You'd see shows and you'd see the same people and there was some weird intersection with the germ because I bought my bass from Donnie Rose who was Darby's boyfriend you know there wasn't anything happening we had to kind of make it ourselves if we played a ska number the skinheads would go oh okay these guys are cool we've been exposed to most everything by television trying to do these things was not a was not a process of trying to get it right yeah it was like trying to get it wrong after buying a copy of Savage Republic's Tragic Figures album Victor filled out the reply card and mailed it in at first met Victor at Desolation Center in the Mojave Exodus that Savage Republic and the Minutemen played. As I recall, I think he said, I have this band, can I send you a demo tape? There were some great catchy songs on there and a couple of songs that, as far as I know, have, haven't yet to be released. And I hope at some point there will be an opportunity to. We went up to Davis where I grew up and recorded in Dave Gill's, Dave Scott Millington's place. Millington is, uh, you know, the brother of the Millington sisters from the band Fanny. Two weekends, right? One weekend yeah. to record it and one weekend to mix it. I'm still a little, get a little tingly thinking about how that came <laughs> up. Cause <it> really, <laughs> the band wasn't used to the idea of trying to play you know, drums, bass, and a rhythm guitar and not sing the song. Art does come from those suburbs and sometimes it's pretty good. It's an amazing record. It's it's unique and we managed to come up with something that was uh, unlike anything else that other people were doing at the time. And I, I think that, that the fact that it still sounds that way is, is uh, sort of a testament to it.